Hi and welcome to another video on Annoyed Kitten. A couple of months ago I did a lecture about possumants. Uh, you will find it linked down below. And there I taught how to do the double strand, which is basically like squares of the Viking possumants. And there you also will have background about what possumants is. Today I'm going to teach you how to do this one, which is a loop in loop. Well, that's what I call them. Uh, and it's a very simple knot, actually. I also had made this in a larger scale. As I mentioned in the first video, this is the difference. Uh, the lower one, the bigger one, is 0.6 millimeter thread. And the upper one is 0.3. So this one is historical accurate in size or at least more accurate. And this one is not. But it's still the same knot. And you decide if you want it historical to a point or just something variabling is still historical but just the wrong size. But it will show more on your garb. So how do you do this knot? Let me move the camera and I will show you. All right, and now we're going to do the, the knot. So I'm just going to move away metal wires here. And I'm working with this polyester rope and I'm folding it first in half. And then I'm folding it again. So I have four strands. The perfect thing is if they are cut at the end, uh, I will be lazy. I don't want to waste my thread, so I'm going to just leave this as a loop. Um, but it's easier if both are cut. So, first of all, you make a loop like this. And for the first knot, it's actually a little bit easier if you put it on a flat surface like this. Because then you can make the loop and you can just put this two over. The last time I talked about a pretzel with one over and one under. This is the same technique but for this knot you start it with both over. So this is going to be your lower knot, lower, sorry, your lower loop and these two strands are going to be your upper loop. So what we now do is that we take this, we go under over and under. So you see that this strand goes under there, over there, and under there. So up, up in the hole, down in the hole. And of course the other one follows. And we're keeping it nice and flat. And now we're gonna very carefully tighten this up. We we'll start tightening in the lower knot and then we can carefully tighten the upper knot. And I'm going to try and do this so you can see my hand what I'm doing. I'm basically just tightening it together. This will be, if you look at these two, you will see that there are loops at the end. What you do when uh, you're sewing this onto a piece of fabric is that you just them in behind that like that it will not show maybe I should show on this one you just fold them in like that so this looks as it should now for the next one you just repeat the pattern you make the loop making sure it goes over itself. So you have like this. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. Okay, there. So this was your start. There we 
we have it. So this is this, this is your starch. This is starting out, and now you're gonna repeat that. So you just make a new loop. And put these ones over. Again, it's the same technique. You have your pretzel. Both strands are going to be on top. And you continue to go under, over, and under. And this one will follow. So what you do now is that you take everything because you want, of course, this knot to be as tight to this knot as possible. You want this knot to be as tight as this knot as possible. So what you do is that you start kind of like pushing everything close and start tightening up this lower first and you can also drag a little bit this one and this is actually easier when you are working with metal wire because metal wire tends to stay where it is supposed to stay and this one is a little bit more slippery but what you do now is that you just tighten. And there you have it. Two knots. Same over and over. You just make one more knot. You don't have to do it against a flat surface like this. Uh, you can also hold it in the air. Just hold it. You should do that. Find a working position that works for you. Where you feel that you have control over all the straps. So there, you take this one, pull everything closer, tighten the lower one. And you're doing this in steps because as I established in my first video, when we're working with Temtrod, uh, when the knot is tightened, it tends to stay that way. It's hard to, to change it. So if you want a really tight knot, you keep it close uh, and you tighten it in steps. So there you have it. This is the very simple knot. There you have it, a loopy loop knot. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe uh, to keep this channel going. And see you next time.